Hey, good morning. This is Mayor Valensky with the Driving Markets. I hope you're all well. Okay, so anything said in this piece is not advice, not investment advice. I'm not an advisor, not an investment advisor, not licensed to give advice. Anything that you trade is your decision, your account, your money. You choose the platform and whatever happens, whether you make money, lose money, it's all on you. Okay, so let's move on. So on Friday, the big number, which was the non-farm payroll, came out much higher than expected. They were expected around about 258,000 jobs to be created. And in fact, there were 528,000 jobs created in the US. And that sent a nervousness in the markets that interest rates may go up even higher than anticipated because full employment eventually drives up inflation. And that's what you've got in the States. And that's what we've got more or less in the Western Hemisphere, whether it's Europe, UK, Canada, or the US, Australia, and New Zealand. So what you've got is now another factor with inflation, which is full employment, and that is gonna concern the Fed. So I expect at the August meeting of the Fed that rates will go up around about another 75 basis points and they will continue going up at 75 basis points till the end of the year. All of these analysts and all of these uh, bankers within Wall Street and within the West believe that interest rates are not gonna go up as fast as they are. They're gonna go up as fast as they are until the end of the year and probably gonna continue next year because inflation is gonna stay high. This week you've got the CPI, Consumer Price Index in the States, which is the retail inflation number out. You've also got Producer Price Index, which is the wholesale inflation number out. And you've got the Michigan Confidence Cent the Michigan University Sentiment Report on Friday, and that will give an indication where the US citizen sees their confidence level within the US economy. So you've got three major figures. I'm calling inflation in the states retail retail inflation cpi at around about ten and a half percent and that is really a low figure because real inflation as i've said all along is running at 20 percent so it's going to have an impact a significant impact on wednesday and thursday when those inflation numbers come out will give us an idea as to what the market is feeling and where interest rates are likely to go within the US going forward. My view is they're only gonna go up, so take that into account. Now I wanna discuss today something regarding Apple. Okay, so let's look at Apple. So Apple is, or is a huge company worth nearly $3 trillion. And Apple started with the Apple, the iPhone 3, the iPhone 4, iPhone 5, and it's developed and Steve Jobs did the most amazing job at developing Apple. He was innovative and he was exciting and he was dynamic and he always had great ideas. But Apple in the last 10 years has not been innovative. It's not produced anything. What's it produced? It's produced an iPhone with great design and from there it's moved on to the iPad and all of the iPhone products, Apple products. But it's mainly based around the iPhone. Now a company that's not innovative has one way and that is going south just to let you know. It's called a cash cow in the Michigan business model. Um, Apple is presently in the sector, in the little box of cash cow. Yes, it's milking what it's got, but it's not produced anything new. The fact that it brings out an iPhone Pro 11 or iPhone Pro 13 or whatever it is, it's basically the same design, the same content, as all the other iPhones, apart from maybe a new camera or faster processor, but nothing's changed. And a company that doesn't change and doesn't become innovative has only got one way, and that is going down. So I'm short, I'm telling you to go short of Apple, in my opinion, of course. And Apple is probably worth around about realistically the $80 a share, not $162 a share, because it's on the track of going like Nokia. Hard to believe. I know it's a wild call. There's no way what you're talking about. It's three trillion dollars. It's never going to happen. I'm not talking about next week. I'm talking about overall business for the next 10 years. You look at Apple long term. Apple is going to go nowhere. It's milking its customers to keep on buying another Apple iPhone. But we renew it every two years. Let's go on. Let's get another iPhone. Microsoft, for example, they give their employees a new Apple iPhone every two years. And there's no difference from the latest iPhone to what it was two years ago. So as far as Apple is concerned, Apple is far too high. It's well overvalued and it is on the track to go in like another Nokia. Another company which is also 
um, on the on the rocks as far as I'm concerned but I don't particularly like this company and I've got something against the CEO and the founder is Mark Zuckerberg is Facebook Facebook also is timed out it's expired it hasn't got much of a future if it wasn't for Instagram Facebook would be flat on the floor it's losing subscribers it's very uh, dull it has it's lost its innovation I particularly don't like Mark Zuckerberg's so anything I say about Facebook is particularly negative so I'm not a big fan of Facebook I think Facebook really is going to go well below the hundred dollars a share um, in the near future, I'd say in the next six months, uh, but Instagram is keeping it up. Remember, Instagram wasn't designed by them, it was bought in. So they bought in WhatsApp, they bought in Instagram. They haven't really designed or developed anything new. So again, another cash cow is Facebook, and that looks like a company that's just going to go nowhere in the short term, even to medium term, and the shares there look like a sell as far as I'm concerned. Uh, those two companies are definitely cash cow. Amazon also is now uh, wavering and saying, well, hold on, what are we doing with Amazon? What, are we, what innovation are we bringing to Amazon? And they haven't also bought any innovation. Amazon also is on that track. So again, the big high techs are totally dependent on their customer base. And if you're not designing something new, then eventually you're gonna go down. So this is my view. I know it's extreme, I know it's maverick, and everyone's gonna get a lot of comments and say, what are you talking about? You talk trash, these companies never gonna fail, etc., etc." Well, I think they are, and that's my opinion. I think they're just gonna go down unless they produce something innovative that's gonna attract the new generation. This is Mayor Valensky with Driving Markets. Have a good day.